so you can probably hear Mr. Knees Over Tills guy in the background there. Can you hear Mr. Knees Over Toes guy? Because this guy, wow, he's really uh, tapped into something. I mean, I've been doing world-class sport for since 2000, even, even earlier, pretty much. So the thing is, <laughs> that guy, he's awesome. So what I'm saying is, he's, he's tapped into something here. He's talking about tendons, the tendons are higher up where your bigger muscles are and your glutes, they're weaker. But the tendons where your lesser muscles are in your lower feet are stronger. So running backwards is an awesome exercise for beginners. And there are a couple of others like crawling on your knees, hands and knees. Like I used to do karate and jujitsu and other related Japanese uh, arts and they would always walk on the knees and jump up from the knees and it was like it was an incredible um, difference of an approach to understanding the knees it's like the samurai if you see old films of the samurai you know they'll walk on the knees type of thing and it's all um, he's tapping into all this so the thing is I've done Alexander technique for about 20 30 years something like that and the thing is with the Alexander technique is there's an idea. Now I was watching Richard Johnson, who's a runner. I've always wanted to run. I couldn't run when I was a kid. I, I could run sprints. I was one of the two fastest in my school at running ten second sprint off the dart. I was, you know, one of two um, within the top two be between me and this other lad Yatesy. So the thing is now. With Alexander Technique, it's the idea of lengthening, widening, you know, being this relaxed, poised, your head's like a balloon, so it's a weightless, sitting on the occipital joint at the back of the head, at the neck, you know, around this area, in, in the centre of the skull, just a little bit tipping. So the idea is it rolls forward and it goes up. And that gives you this lightness and an extension of your spine. And it, it like it like it draws everything down then. Whereas you'd be looking to work everything from the you know, from whatever way. It's just like really good for joints. It helps you lubricate your joints and everything. So the thing is, Mr. Knees Over Toes guy is talking about open up the, the range of the joints. Well, through the training I've done, I totally get that. And through physiotherapy in, in rehabilitation from recovering from injuries, you know, they're the types of things that you do. But the thing is, he's approaching it from a methodology and a philosophy behind it is like, like this works. So this is how you do it. And yeah, it takes 10 minutes or so to go through a few of his videos and work out, well, what is it that he's saying? But once you get it, Wow, the, like this is the bit I'm going to get. So the last video I've done, I've got the inflatable up against the door and I'm running back. Well, now I'm sat, but I'm sat with a purpose and I'm sat relaxed and comfortable. My voice is strong. It could be stronger. You know, it's like it's a good resonance. But I've got the idea of this running backwards. After I've done it, it was the first time I've done it last night. And it was a total recommendation from Mr. Knees Over Toes guy. You know, kudos. This is the way forward. I'm in rehab from a, a compound tear of me ACL and LCL from running over up and down sand hills, going a bit too mad there. <laughs> but it's been like over, well, about 18 months, 16 to 18 months. That's much better. I was going up and down with, with recovery use nice and doing various bits and bobs of physio, but I got onto this guy yesterday watching a Tim Keeley physio thing and, and someone had put in the comments, you know, always read the comments. 
someone said, have you seen this? What do you think of this Mr. Knees Over Toes guy? So I, I shot straight to search, had a look, found him, went through it all, and wow, my knees are great. Like, I've just been for a big, long 10-mile walk or something all over where I am, and I could do it again. In fact, I'm going out in a minute, <laughs> and it's raining. And I haven't really been that active, but it's just unlocked the power and the energy that can be garnered from uh, the glute, you know, from the glutes working, to, from the whole leg structure working in good tandem with, and I tell you, this is the other part of what I'm saying. So so link the Alexander technique with the idea of the, the head floating up, slightly going forwards. So it's this poise, this idea of poise. You know, you're lengthening and widening, allows your breathing to be continuous and smooth and you know it's really helpful a lot of actors and singers use the alexander technique now apparently alexander had problems with his legs and i've seen other people um, with alexander technique have sorts of problems with the legs like john cleese and who's the other guy leslie celeste patterson that barry what's his name so obviously they're older, but they've got problems with the legs. So I was like, I don't want to be like that, you know what I mean? So I've been doing loads of interesting studies on legs, and then I came across this guy. That's why I was into all the physio stuff, because I've got this knee, you know, and I don't want this bus knee. Anyway, uh, I think I was trying to jump over some ice, and like my back just went, I was like, oh no, what's going on? So I was like, like it's weird for me, because I've always generally got excellent ability like fat or thin which you know i'll fluctuate a little bit not too fat but at this time just with the day's training on this methodology and using the principles of the alexander technique which is the idea so now i'm sat and you know i've kind of got the idea of running backwards so my legs aren't moving but i've got the momentum going in that direction with my head floating up. So it just gave me a, a lovely, stable sitting position. And I was like that in bed last night, and I was just like, oh, wow, forget that feeling. And just sort of, not push back, but allow my body to be going in that direction. And my head floating up. I was like, wow. And I think I had a boss night's sleep because of that, which I have great night sleeps anyway but basically a different level a higher you know a higher intensity of quality so uh, wow the thing is with, with a lot of these exercises like i just put the inflatable up against the door but you can basically do it like i'm running backwards now but i'm sat but the, i'm still using the muscle so it's low intensity low impact but if you do that for 15 minutes 5, 10, 15 minutes, even if you do it for 5 minutes or 2 minutes or something like that, you just get into the feeling because this running backwards is something else which he explains and, you know, I'll recommend you to go to his channel to start looking at that. He shows his mum, she's in her 60s running backwards and she's like a gazelle and that's the way it should be. That's a kind of a little bit based on the Alexander principles too. It's like... Like, this seems to be the next level. You know, Alexander Technique is like, like it's going to be not stagnant, but there's been loads of infighting about how it went because, you know, he died without being able to explain it properly because he hadn't obviously fulfilled his mission, even though he was 85, 87, something like that, uh, when he passed away. But your man there, Mr. Knees Over Toes guy, it looks like he's took up the reins from a different angle coming with a different philosophy from, you know, but still on point, massively on point, human potential, human design. And, uh, wow, truly exciting, like, I mean, I'm buzzing just, just, just talking about it. So I think it's going to be, uh, he's just put out a video today. What is it? Tuesday, the 16th of February. And, um, truly inspiring it's it's no excuses for anything ever <laughs> something like that and um 
You know, so that philosophy behind the idea of the training, it's like, wow, hang on, I'm going to be super fit now. Coming into the summer, coming into next year, coming into the year after, it's like this has opened up the athleticism that you would see on, you know, a cheetah or a leopard or like this is, it's a reality. And the the thing is about the science now, and now Tim Keeley is no no slouch when it comes to physiotherapy. He, he's, he's definitely a world leader in the science that he professes on his own physio thing. Although Mr. Knees Over Toes guy has got 90,000 subscribers, has been acting for a couple of years, active, <coughs> produce some major talent already. It's going to it's gonna hit the youth, and the youth are going to be springing everywhere, so you better get ready, you better be prepared for what's coming. And this is the only way. <laughs> the only way is to get equally as fit, So, which you will be, because age doesn't matter with this stuff, because once you start getting training in this and healthy with the goal towards allowing your body to be this uh, dynamic amazing what it should be do you know what i mean this potential realized now like this is a this is truly exciting like and i have trained with chinese national team you know the olympic national team like in the training room with them they're training i'm training so so you can't get much higher than the chinese national olympic team in their own sport, their own national sport, and and you know I've I've seen what what's involved, and this is on like levels above that. If they get older, this, which may you know take a while to filter through, their levels will, will pop up. The whole world's going to be bouncing just because this fella has done a lot of work, because he was basically below par, and suffered injuries because of it. So when I was younger, I didn't think I got the, uh, you know, more fitted sports to my game. Like I would have loved to do skiing, ice hockey, you know, look at the, look at the paragliding and stuff like that. There's a multitude of things that everyone would love to do, wouldn't he? You know, water skiing, uh, mountain biking, you know, the, a lot of new sports, snowboarding. The uh, ski jumping, I always wanted to be a ski jumper, and then the hot dogging came along with to do excellent spins. You know, it's like, <laughs> like the, there's just so much. Uh, like they call them extreme sports, but they shouldn't be that extreme. The parkour, the parkour came along. Uh, gymnastics, you know that that's even getting into realms of like not normal uh, people, like doing the crucifix and all stuff like that. This is all going to be totally. Uh, available so i made this little dummy running backwards thing because it was we had ice rain here and it's been like really bad so that served the purpose the next one i'm gonna do is the nordic you know lifting up backwards so i've got a, a little step but i think you could do it off the couch just that you need someone to hold your legs and Anyway, take a little bit of but when I'm when I'm done and I've got me set up, which is only gonna be just like sorting a piece of wood basically and putting a couple of nails in, I'll be able to have a go at the Nordics. And I used to do them as a kid naturally, I used to put my feet up down the back of the couch and like lean off the couch and do them inclined. Like off the couch. So the cu the couch ends are there. And used to do them inclines, which I haven't seen a Mr. Knees Over Toes guy do yeah, And that's a bit of the message. So if you're watching Mr. Knees Over Toes guy, you know, thumbs up. Have a think about doing it off a ledge and coming up. You know, because that will give you even further leverage. And you can just hold it and just start doing isometrics and put weights on and it's like, wow. You know, there used to be stories, I don't know if everyone knows, but about like the Incas, is it the Aztecs or the Mayas or whatever? Because my old YouTube channel used to be Colo 
Colopathy or Colopathy C O L O and it was Colo Colo and he was uh, from Chile. Now I was reading a book called Cities of Sun and that talks about like it's a different story about who these Indians may have been and they may not have been Indians you know as you depict them in your mind with this picture in your mind that you have. I'll leave you to find out for yourself on that. But Colo Colo, those people, they could, they could just run, 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 run. And I've seen the Maroons, actually. The Maroons are the, the freed Africans of the Caribbean from Jamaica. And they live up in the mountains in Jamaica. And they were slaves uh, of the Spanish era which was full of pirates, so, you know, I'm not saying that they were Spanish, like, under the yoke of the Spanish, but when the British took over Jamaica, rather than the Spanish, they emancipated these slaves, so whether it be from the pirates or... I don't know how it works, but they still live in the mountains, and if you watch any of the videos, some of them can climb up these, like, just 90-degree faces with waterfalls coming down and they just zip up them and they're the big hefty women as well you know they're not like uh, little delicate um, athletes like you see in the olympics or something like that the the big burly people and they just spring up them so it's like like this it's a matter of mechanics and physics isn't it you know the the correct methodology especially bolstered with the philosophy that he's bringing of like you know being true to yourself <laughs> So it's, a, it's really exciting. Really, really exciting. Can't believe I've stumbled across it. And I'll try and put out whatever freaky things that I get up to because I used to do freaky things that I was younger and I always felt I never got the potential to do it because they used to ban me from uh, gym class because I used to always climb up right up to the ceiling, 30 foot, used to jump off. And I was never allowed to play pirates or... I was never allowed to do anything. <laughs> I got banned from music school after the first lesson, even though I got an A star in the first lesson. So welcome to my life. And um, so the sky's going to be the limit. It's going to be dead interesting to see if I can do it, putting all the pressure on myself. But that's how I feel about, you know, my body speaking to me going, yeah, this is, this is like intuitively... And you look at his videos, you know, he's not he's not copping out, he's not steroided up or not, and he's like 100% genuine. I don't know whether he's taking supplements, I don't really care, but um, I've just added Ubiquin on, a CQ10 enzyme. Nice, nice little uh, booster for feeding oxygen. Apparently it's for men over 30 and for women over 30. It's a really good... Um, little boost there to coenzyme so it's a, a natural uh, do that and uh, yeah just upped on me vitamins you know while it's winter like vitamin d vitamin c vitamin b b6 like b12s and um what was the other one the other one oh yeah just to get some thingy into my joints like some uh, cartilage uh, to feed the cartilage just some um glucosamine and chondroitin with MSN and the MSN helps the blood feed uh, the chondroitin and the glucosamine into the joints so it gives you great buoyancy like you know when you're lubing up your joints for like when you're warming up you know getting your joints moving and that that's where you're getting the blood to the joints and then you do your training a bit of a warm down but it's about getting your blood circulating in the areas that you're uh, concentrating on so with this stuff it's all bigger muscles it's involving bigger muscles so therefore the bigger blood flow is going to increase um, you know healthier blood circulation it's going to increase a uh, you know excellent distribution of nutrients it's going to make you stronger more flexible more pliable therefore stronger like the secret to wushu is that you will be stretching your muscles so you'd be looking for muscle uh, elasticity now that 
is similar to the collagen in your brain you know you want that elasticity in your brain for flexible thinking so that you can be on the mark and with the muscles it's a bit like muscle memory once you start getting the muscle muscular elasticity you, you can really uh, generate a lot of power and there's different ways to focus that power you know using the momentum through your waist coming through the floor and you you know you're hitting hard like so so the power that can be generated now can be harnessed in such a way as that like it's healthy whereby because your knees are now protected because of the methodology that Mr. Knees Over Toes guy is talking about, and you get in the full ankle uh, range, full shoulder range, you know, you're protecting elbows. It's like like he's got a full method going on there. That That's very impressive to me. And uh, I'd love to go on his course. I don't know whether I'll be able to, but apparently I've got to get a bank account, which I haven't had since they robbed all my money like 12 years ago whatever it was <coughs> like they actually physically robbed it all and were like oh we didn't do nothing you need to phone this company i was like no that's supposed to be my money well there was no protection there anyway um yeah so who needs that type of life when you can have a different type of life why not have a healthier life so just this idea, I mean, the thing is, is like, yeah, something can be novel, but from how this guy's talking, it doesn't seem like it's novel, it doesn't seem like it's of a novelty value, and I can understand where he's coming from, and I think that even even if you don't like training and having the discipline to, to keep training, you know, there's definitely exercises that can end give you a higher quality of life enhancement that's what i think it's all about so psychologically you know you can be fine physiologically you can be fine physically you can be fine all these things you can be absolutely fine but where are you going with that you know imagine like like dream dream a little bit beyond where your dreams have led you so far like dream dream better dreams that you that you wish for because in alexander technique i think it was walter carrington who was one of the people who'd been taught as a teacher of alexander he talks about fairy tales and i got this from jane oh, i can't remember her second name but she's from yorkshire anyway north yorkshire i think like whitby bay or somewhere and uh, Jane Clapperson, that's her name. She she mentions that, and I recommend her channel, obviously. <laughs> so uh, she recommends that you can have this idea, and this is from Walter Carrington. What you wish for, just leave it latent, and it will develop. So if you've got old bones, old knees, old, you know, you're feeling knackered and that. Start to wish for, for something and start watching Mr. Knees Over Toes guy. And true, you won't get those massive change in dynamics from the off, but you will be leading towards that. I think it was Aldous Huxley who started doing Alexander Technique lessons when he was 93, and he fell off a ladder when he was 94. He died, I think, when he was 97. <coughs> And his daughter said to him, you know, you, you wouldn't have been on that ladder if you if you hadn't been doing that stupid Alexander Technique lessons because he had a wheelchair or, you know, wasn't quite mobile. And he said, that's true. I wouldn't have been on that ladder if I hadn't have done Alexander Technique lessons. So the introduction of these ideas of health, sport, health stroke sport, you know, getting it into your lifestyle and becoming a more... Uh, has to be said dynamic uh, living person then it can be of great life enhancement to the quality of everything you do and um, you know what can be better than that I'm getting hungry <laughs> I've been eating lots of fruit I'm barely eating I'm not eating meat anymore the meat's poison so I've been eating lots of fruit uh, meat, uh, the meat on pineapples, oh my God, it's amazing. 
bananas, kiwis, papayas, mangoes, uh, dried raisins, soft apricots. Oh, it's just proper winner, winner foods it is. So I haven't juiced any of it. I've been eating it. I might start juicing more into the summer. But I've been carefully, mo carefully monitoring it. Now, I was taking my vitamins and uh, some whey protein when I was eating meat, which was only a few weeks ago. And I was having a lot of broccolis and cabbage and, you know, healthy greens. But these last few days, so you get up in the morning, you'd have these breakfasts just of pure fruit. And it's like, wow, you just get a zing. And you just like, like yesterday, I was like, you know, my energy just ran out, so I just grabbed some soft apricots and I just had about six of them. I was like, ping, and I was up again. So it's like proper direct into your system stuff. It's boss, it is fruit. And the people who introduced me to it, like, because I knew about fruitarianism years ago, but it was like, you know, got a bit of a bad press and that. And then I met some people lately who I thought, oh, you know, I'll speak to them about it. So I spoke to them and they were giving me, you know, a bit more a bit more about it. So I had to look on Wikipedia when I got in. And it's like, oh, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, yeah, so it must be right then. Because <laughs> it doesn't go into massive volumes of stuff. Like I was just talking to these people who, who only eat fruit. And they were going into massive volumes of stuff. Like, like we were talking for a good hour or whatever. Yeah. And the Wikipedia is just like, you know, about six, six uh, lines, all negative. So I thought, oh, yeah, well, there's definitely a winner there. So I started uh, eating it. And I, I used to have got like, it's definitely gone down anyway. I had a bump on the back of my head where the uh, police had jumped me for no reason. And, um, you know, to drag me down, bang my head on the floor. So uh, there was no charges or nothing like that. It was just sometimes off the cake. Like I've just been getting off the train there, and you, know, you want to see the squad they've got for ticket collecting on the train: police, support officers, ticket collectors, supervisors. So the whole team is about twelve to fourteen people. And I'm like, oh, you're expecting a big gangster or something? And he's going, what are you acting weird for? Like you know, the supervisor. Like, it doesn't seem to be me who's acting weird. So, you know, everything's demolished, isn't it? But if you want to get fit and healthy, the opportunity is there. And I would strongly suggest for you to take it because on the whole, our society needs it right now. So kudos to Mr. Knees Over Toes guy. Love your way. Can't believe what you've done. You've definitely cracked onto something that has blown me away, which I don't get blown away often. You know, I do tons of research. I do get shocked by a lot of the research that I do. But, wow, this is all positive. So thank you very much, Mr. Knees Over Toes Guy. And I hope you are listening because, you know, I genuinely mean it. Like, boss, see you later.